Hi, welcome back to another episode of Nobody's Doing It Right, the podcast for those who are uncertain. My name is Kat, I'm your host. For today's episode, we're going to talk about how things aren't as personal as they feel. And obviously this sounds so basic to say, but I think it's a foundational principle when it comes to personal growth. You need to get this down in order to move forward and, um, you know, do all the other things you need to do when it comes to self-awareness, personal growth, personal development, you know, being able to express yourself, being vulnerable, being open, having self-worth, like all that stuff. It really is important to understand that things aren't as personal as they feel when it comes to your interpersonal relationships. And I know this is really, this is easier said than done, but I want to like kind of explore it a bit more to unpack it a little bit so that I can share how I've changed my mindset around this in the hopes that it'll help you if you struggle with this. If you are somebody who feels like everything that people do, how they behave is a direct reflection of you and your value and your worth. I know that this is, can be hard to break out of this mindset. I've had it. I've been in it. I think a lot of us have, have been or are in it right now. I get it. Of course, naturally, you would think that. We are social creatures. Biologically, we are designed to care about what people think about us so we don't get exiles from the group and have to fend for ourselves, right? We want to be accepted. Understandable. But most of the time, the things people do, the way they show up, the way they react has nothing to do with us and everything to do with them. And I think the first place to begin to understand this is by looking at yourself, <laughs> looking at the way you behave, the way you respond to things. Most likely, as I know from my own experience, the way you respond has more to do about how you feel about yourself, about the things you've learned throughout your life, the things you've been conditioned to believe, the struggles you might be having, maybe you're going through a depressive episode, whatever. And you might have caught yourself at times acting in ways to people where you're like, oh, they did not deserve that. But, you know, I was really anxious or depressed or, you know, irritable, or whatever. And that's why I said this thing or that's why I did this or that's why I didn't I didn't do this or whatever. Now, put yourself in the other position now, the other person receiving that, you know, if they were thinking of it as personal, yeah, that would probably make them feel really sad. They probably make them feel very unworthy. But if they were to have the perspective of, oh, maybe that person's actually going through something right now. Maybe they're actually depressed. Maybe they're actually scared of being vulnerable. Maybe they're not willing to open up because they fear people will take advantage of them. How would that make them feel now? They'd probably feel less unworthy in response to your actions, right? And that is, that's the crux of this right now. We do not want to tie our identity so deeply to somebody else's behavior or actions or words, whatever, because then it'll make us act in inauthentic ways. It'll make us act unaligned to who we are as people. And instead what we think this person is saying about us because of their behavior. That completely skews everything when we think of it that way. That'll make you act in ways that you are not, in ways that you don't want to be. And that is what we want to avoid because that ruins, that's like a domino effect. It ruins all of your personal growth at that point. If you start responding because you think that their action, what they said, what they did is personal to you and your worth, now you're gonna respond with that mindset. And then that means you might not be very vulnerable. You might not be very expressive. Your ego will kick in and you'll say something that's not aligned with who you want to be as a person. And then they'll respond to that. And it's a mess, it's very messy. So I do think it's really important that, that if you are on a personal growth journey or any kind of you know journey when it comes to mental health, self-awareness, whatever, to really, really sit down and make yourself understand that in most things, aren't as personal as they feel. Sure, sometimes someone might just genuinely not like you and might say something specifically to hurt you. They might. And in which case, you know, obviously painful, uncomfortable, not nice, uh, very valid if you were upset about that, obviously. And also take a step back and think about what does that really say, right? That they have to go out of their way to make somebody feel less than. What does that say about them and the way they feel about themselves? Again, it goes back to them. It goes back to how they see the world, how they perceive things. Of course, it's not fair to you if you have to deal with that, obviously. So I'm not trying to um, completely disregard the way you're feeling, but it's valid. But for your own sake, for your own mental health, for your own feelings of worth and value, it's not as personal as it seems. It's not. Most of the time, if not always, to be honest, it's about them. And of course, even if it's not about you, even if it's not personal, but it still hurts, it's painful, it's uncomfortable, it's abusive, whatever, obviously remove yourself from the situation if you feel like it's threatening to you. That is totally fair and totally valid. 
Now, this is not to excuse you from taking accountability for your own actions, right? If somebody gives you feedback of some sort, you know, and their way of doing it might not be the best all the time, but let's say they give you feedback, they don't like the way you did something, they don't like what you said, they don't like whatever, how you're showing up, take accountability. If you if you feel like that feedback might be right, maybe, maybe you did say something that was a little shitty, maybe you didn't show up the way you wanted to, and they pointed that out, you're all you're allowed to take accountability for that. You're allowed to hold yourself accountable. That's really important. This is not to absolve you from not listening to people and hearing them out and considering that within yourself to say, okay, mm, how do I feel about that? Do I feel like maybe they have a point? Maybe their strategy, their tactic was off, but like maybe they do have a point. You know, that's important too. I'm not, this isn't me saying that you're perfect and amazing. Whatever anyone says about you is, it's a them problem. No, (laughs) obviously, because that is part of growth as well. Holding yourself accountable. But in terms of your self-worth and feeling like your self-worth and value as a human being is tied in what they do and how they say it or what they say or whatever, that's a different story. Even if someone were to say something about you that you're like, yeah, actually I did do that and it's not right and I don't like that I did that, it still does not have to be tied inherently to your worth as a person. You are inherently worthy. Just like a baby is inherently worthy when it's born, right? You wouldn't say one baby is more worthy than another baby, right? But it's how you show up afterwards that kind of determines how you feel about yourself and whether or not you are showing up authentically and in alignment with your values and morals, right? Everybody can change, everybody can grow, everybody can make amends with people, obviously. Um, So it's important to keep that in mind. Remind yourself that your worth is there. It is, you know, a non-negotiable, it's there. So how someone shows up, what they say, how they say it, whatever, is not a reflection of your worth. More often than not, it's a reflection of how they believe their worth is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. We all see the world through our own lens. And sometimes we forget that other people can't read our minds, that they don't see it the way we see it all the time. So just hold that perspective in the front of your mind because it will come up a lot when you're dealing with people. And when you are able to really, really internalize this within yourself, that, you know, it's not as personal as it seems, it makes it so much easier to show up openly, authentically, vulnerably, and to cultivate relationships that are actually much stronger. Because if you are responding to what somebody said or what they did from a place of ego, from a place of feeling like your worth is attacked, you might say something that's not at all aligned with you, like I said before. And now you've become a version of yourself that you don't want to be. But if you didn't, if you responded from a place of, okay, maybe this person's going through something, maybe they see the world differently, this that's, that's an issue that they are struggling with, I'll consider, okay, maybe do I align with what they said? Do I believe that that maybe I did do something, whatever. And if not, if you genuinely believe, you know, still holding yourself accountable when necessary, but if you genuinely believe, I don't think I did anything wrong and seeing as my worth is is a non-negotiable, it's there, right? Then the only answer really is that they are just seeing things differently than me. And that has nothing to do with my worth and my value. And that's that. It's as simple as that, obviously easier said than done, but it's as simple as that. And it's really, really important because now You can show up in a way that is much different than the other example. You can now be vulnerable and say, hey, you know, that may be a little uncomfortable. Like, what did you mean by that? Genuinely out of curiosity, not to be mean or aggressive or whatever, not to say that there's anything wrong with standing up for yourself, of course. But, you know, you can approach it from a place of curiosity instead. What did you mean by that? Sorry, like, I don't understand. Or that made me feel uncomfortable. Like, I I don't really like that. Or, you know why do you feel that way? Whatever. However you can open up discourse and conversation about something so that the other person can actually even show up in a way that maybe you didn't even think they could show up in, right? Maybe you've opened up space now for vulnerability and they've stepped into that and shown you like, oh, they actually are capable of being more open and expressive and vulnerable, whatever. That's how relationships are formed. And that's also how you build your relationship with yourself. If you do not question your worth every time someone does something or says something, you can trust yourself to show up, you know, in a way that's true to you, vulnerable, open, whatever, and not worry about being taken advantage of all the time or being hurt by anything that someone says, any small thing that they say or do or don't do. So it it creates more security in yourself too. And that's really, really important when it comes to personal growth. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative. I hope it gave you a perspective on this. This is really, really important to to get down if you're on a personal growth journey. It's something I still struggle with, don't get me wrong. But once you get better at this and, and it really sinks in that it's not as personal as, it's not personal. It's that's, a, that's something that they're going through or like my worth is fine. So what they said does not really affect me as deeply as it once did. 
it's so much freer. <laughs> it feels so much freer. You have so much more freedom to be able to think about other things and be comfortable being more vulnerable and open and authentic and real because that's what's really important too, right? So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative. If you want to talk about these topics with me one-to-one, -one, you can book a call or email guidance. Um, I also write on Substack. I write about these topics there too. And you can follow my social media accounts for all my other content. Other than that, thank you for listening and I'll be back again soon with another episode.